Good evening, dear viewers, and let's get started with a reading uh, for Adam Schiff, and it was a request request from uh, Linda Burchell. I hope I pronounced your last name correctly, and I thought that was very interesting. I've been trying to get to Adam for a while, and after Adam's reading, I'm going to do a couple of the Democratic primary candidates, and so yeah, let's get started. Adam Schiff. Born June 22nd, 1960. Sacred Spirit, can you tell us about Adam Schiff? Queen of Wands. Okay. Right, so we know that he's working with a with a woman. This could be Nancy, Nancy Pelosi. Uh, with regards to this is the justice card, so with regards something to do with the law. So I'm gonna say this is very obvious, and this is the inquiry that they're dealing with here. Okay, so they're working very well together. This crowns him. Trump. Okay, so he doesn't feel like Trump is a... He's not scared of Trump. This is what he has to work with, work with, and is his. That's not a good card. That's a terrible card. So there's lies being tossed around left and right here. So he has to untangle... So he has to untangle these lies. It's too, it's too much of a mess at this moment. There are too many. This is in the recent past. Okay. So there is uh, a bit of uh, inner disagreement with his colleagues. Not Nancy, but a few other people. But it's not in uh, bad faith. It's more trying to see where they stand with regards to the inquiry and this is coming up in the next few days they're gonna get news about money and it's also going to cause them to stagnate for a bit is in the next few days this is their essence so they want to do good they want to do things in good faith this is the environment they're unable to work though so they want to do things in good faith but the environment is not allowing them to work so this is yeah see stagnation and kind of stagnation this is a good card i mean if you you know this is pentacles upside down but if i were to see as i was doing a reading for you and i saw this card and i saw this i was gonna say you're gonna get a job that pays you a lot of money but since this is upside down and the pentacles is upside down here i would say this is an issue with money I don't know if it's an issue with Trump's money or if it's an issue with something to do with their budget or let's keep going. Let's see what it is. Maybe we'll get an answer. This hopes and fears is for this to end. For this entire thing to end and what will come for Adam Schiff. Problems. It's not a terrible card, but again, very, very bizarre cards for the people in England and now the Democrats here with this inquiry. It's like there's too, too much deception. 
when you have so much deception, you it, it throws me personally, it kind of throws me off. So, okay, so this is Adam Schiff with regards to his work. So I guess it's answered the question about his work. He's dealing with lies. There's going to be some stagnation of some sort, some disagreement. There's some information coming in about money and it's negative. They are working in good faith. He's going to be running into roadblocks with this inquiry. Yeah, that's what I see. Let's, let's ask something else about him. So let's try another question. Let me do old school Celtic cross. I'm going to pick the significator. I picked the king of cups for Adam Schiff. And let's see. Is Adam Schiff... Is his life in danger? Okay, so renewal of some sort. These are his obstacles. He's very happy. This crowns him. Okay, so the cup's upside down. So he's worried that... He doesn't like drama and problems. And he seems to be caught up in them. Sort of personal. He's, he takes things very personal. According to the tarot here. Okay, this is his, what that he has to work with. Oh no, yeah, this is a bad card. Okay. So what he has to work with is like ro robbery, stealing. So maybe it's that whole, the whole uh, impeachment inquiry situation because it's criminal activity here. Okay, and this is in his recent past. government upside down this is in the upcoming days page of cups okay so I see perhaps a young woman a, a woman coming in that he's going perhaps to have to interview someone perhaps on the side of the uh president okay and this is his essence oh no that's terrible yeah that's not a good card okay this is his environment enemy at the gate hopes and fears Oh, trickery, abuse, artifice. Oh no. What is going on? And then this is the outcome. Ace of Swords. Yeah, so I think... So, it's... I honestly don't know in the tarot... Sometimes when it's actual, real, like to me, like if I was to see the four of swords and maybe the five of swords with a death card, that would be a, an assurance that it is a physical death. I don't see that. I do see him getting threats for sure. Uh, people even perhaps even showing up at his house thre to threaten him. And to get rid of him. But he's going to react. Uh, he's not going to be intimidated by this at all. He's going to keep going. And if he needs to get mad, he'll get mad. And if he needs to say the truth, he'll say the truth no matter what it costs. But yeah, I 
don't I can't I don't see actual physical death it also if I saw like the, the three of swords I would say maybe he's gonna have some sort of heart attack or stroke or something like that I don't see that either I might could do a cup on him those are like pictures those are like little movies to me when I do the cups Yeah, so that's what I think. I think that it's more of a, he's going to have to be interviewing a, when he's, in the next few days when he's interviewing this younger woman or a woman that's not elderly. Uh, yeah, he's going to be getting death threats. They're going to even try to take him out of the committee. And yeah, enemy at the gate. Oh, so, sorry about my phone in the background. I, I tend to uh, just... Put it on do not disturb when i'm doing my readings and i forgot to do that you know what else this could mean guys and again you know what i realized and sometimes you're you're home alone and you're shooting these videos and you feel like you're talking to your friends but there's people that don't know you and they might misinterpret what you say and i really don't want to hurt anyone's feelings or make anyone uncomfortable that's not my intention uh, but I just don't know how to describe it. I just see maybe he could get This is gonna sound terrible, but they might try to meet to him Now I believe women I mean most of us have been in an environment where uh, There's been a sleaze ball that we've had to put up with for one reason or another And it's very uncomfortable feeling so I know that that's rampant and that most women that do come forward, they're telling the truth. But I also have male family members and I wouldn't want them to be accused of, of something like that if they were innocent, right? So it's one of those situations. So that's what I think. You know why? I think that they're going to try to end him because... They're going to try to Al Franken him as well because y you see like his essence is death. So here is a younger woman of cups. So having to do with emotions, she is upside down, which means enemy right next to the six of wands upside down, which means enemy at the gate, along with a death card up here and the devil underneath here, which is trickery and uh, lies. And then the outcome is the Ace of Swords. So according to the uh, outcome, the truth will come out and he may remain. But that's what I think that is. I think he's in a very precarious and dangerous situation when it comes to his reputation, his job, and uh, his status. I think they might, we might hear about that. It could be that he's interviewing someone that is tricking him like i said earlier it could be that too but then i don't understand why you have the death and the devil the death as the essence well we'll see what happens i i can't man but there's going to be a woman coming up in his neck in his near future and we're going to hear about it it it's not going to go down well, but the outcome is the Ace of Swords. Now, if the Ace of Swords was upside down, that's not great, but it's up right side up. So, and, but in the end, the outcome is he's going to keep going. And if he needs to get angry, he'll get angry and he'll push through. That's unfortunate. Wow, Linda, that was a good question. <laughs> Surprising. So you have a good night. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening. I'll be back again tomorrow with some more readings and it'll be on the uh, Democratic candidates. Let me know if you have any other suggestions for readings. I appreciate that. Thank you guys.